I'm a wheelchair user living in Weatherby in North Yorkshire. I have friends who live in Hebden Bridge and I wanted to visit them for a few drinks over Christmas. On paper this should be straightforward, a bus to Leeds and then a train to Hebden Bridge. Unfortunately life is never that straightforward for wheelchair users. The Manchester bound platform at Hebden Bridge is only accessible via the footbridge, which has no lift. It's therefore not possible for a wheelchair user to leave the station at that point. Arriva Rail North state in the DPPP, Disabled People's Protection Policy, if a station is inaccessible to you, we'll provide alternative transport at no extra cost to the nearest or most convenient station to enable you to continue your journey. This sounds very generous. The lack of access at Hebden Bridge therefore shouldn't be a problem. This should mean that I could get off at Mythamroyd, a mile and a half down the road, and Northern will provide a wheelchair accessible taxi from Mythamroyd to Hebden Bridge. After all, it's only a five minute taxi journey. I therefore arranged the assistance in advance and duly caught the train on the day. It stops at Mythamroyd at 12.39, then at Hebden Bridge three minutes later at 12.42. Given that the taxi journey takes five minutes, then that means I should only be a couple of minutes late. Unfortunately, the reality is different, as the following video shows. Well, here I am at um, Mytham Road Station, waiting for the taxi, but Northern Rail had booked. I was going to Hebden Bridge, but the, um, the platform at Hebden Bridge doesn't have wheelchair access, so they told me to go to Mytham Road, and that they'd booked a taxi from Mytham Road to Hebden Bridge. But um, that taxi was supposed to be here at 10 to 1. It's now five past one, and there's no sign of it. Um, no idea where it is. I couldn't be clearer, really. I'm right next to the Mytham Road station sign. Um, I've got various missed calls on my phone. I tried to phone one back. I phoned back and spoke to the control centre taxi, who said that they were um, around, um, I think. The trouble is that I've got hearing loss and I struggle to work out what um, people are saying on the phone and it's a noisy road. Um, I've tweeted Northern Rail to explain that I'm stuck and with all the references um, pointing out that I can't manage on the phone but I'm still stuck and just got to wait, wait to see when they'll be back. There had indeed been a number of phone calls made to my phone and I had texted back. Despite this, it took a passerby to solve this problem. She had spotted the taxi waiting by the Leeds bound platform. By the time I had found the taxi, it was ten past one. The driver loaded me into the taxi and strapped me in, then told me that he didn't know how to get to Hebden Bridge Station and asked me for directions. Part of the reason for his confusion may well be that a taxi was booked from Huddersfield it's half an hour's drive from Huddersfield to Hebden Bridge, so he did an hour's empty mileage round trip just to drive me the five minute, mile and a half journey from Mytham Road to Hebden Bridge. Yet there are wheelchair accessible taxis in Halifax, a town in the same valley and considerably closer to Hebden Bridge. By the time the taxi had arrived in Hebden Bridge it was gone twenty past one, and by the time I was unloaded it was half past one. The train had deposited its able-bodied passengers three quarters of an hour earlier. My patient and long-suffering friends had waited on an exposed park bench in the sub-zero temperatures all this time. They and I were cold and frustrated. The Equality Act Code of Practice says, The policy of the Act is not a minimalist policy of simply ensuring that some access is available to disabled people. It is, so far as is reasonably practicable, to approximate the access enjoyed by disabled people to that enjoyed by the rest of the public. The purpose of the duty to make reasonable adjustments is to provide access to a service as close as it is reasonably possible to get to the standard normally offered to the public at large. I don't feel that the taxi alternative makes up for the inconvenience caused by the lack of access at Hebden Bridge Station and I don't think it's acceptable. This isn't a new problem. I have experienced this many times over the past decade, most recently in October 2016. I raised the issue in the local paper in 2010, pointing out that the alternative taxi provision came from Huddersfield. 
A local disabled resident set up a campaign and a petition in 2015. They sometimes wait for hours for the pre-booked taxi and are sometimes told to carry on along the line to Rochdale and back. The Friends of Hebden Bridge Station have been campaigning for lift access for years. It hasn't always been like this. Up until mid-1980s, Hebden Bridge Station had working lifts to each platform. The lift shafts and machinery are still there, though clearly defunct. Thanks to campaigning by many people, in 2015 Network Rail agreed to replace these lifts. However, there is still some time to wait. Whilst the Network Rail website currently gives a ballpark of 2016 to 2017, the Transport Minister Paul Maynard, who is himself disabled, has recently told Hebden Bridge's Member of Parliament that their current plan is to replace the lifts by early in 2019. That's a very long time to wait, and even then that's only their aim. In the meantime, Arriva Rail North should not assume that their current alternative taxi provision is adequate and meets the needs of disabled people. It's frankly not acceptable.